Hello and welcome to another video in our 1.19 Let's Play world. This is where we live, it's called Blossom Valley and it's kind of turning into quite a big kingdom here. We've got a village, a brand new castle, and then on this side we have our house and the zoo. Let's just land up here for a second. The way I've been growing this area is by finding gaps in the buildings and then building in them. It's um, not rocket science. But if we look around, one of the most obvious gaps that I don't like at the moment is here. This entire hill could do with something. Or a couple of things. And I actually don't like how many birch trees there are. I don't think it's very fitting with the dark oak forest. As much as I love the pink, there's a lot of it in this spot. So I think what we're going to do is here we'll have a big building. Or well, big-ish. And then we might do a little organic build kind of below it, like here. I'm going to put a pillar down here. I'm thinking maybe a mushroom. So now from back on our viewing platform, you can see the birch planks. And that is our plan. A building there and a mushroom there. Then I was thinking in particular what kind of building might be useful and I think I've got just the thing. Here we have our nether portal and it took about 10 seconds to make because this tree was already here. It is very low effort and also it's very far away when I'm at my house. So I thought maybe we could make something a little closer and a little bit more grand. So this is going to be a house featuring a nether portal. Let's do the first part of this process and clear some land. And with this done, we're at the phase where we need to get supplies for the build. It's a nether portal house, so the first thing we'll need is obsidian. Which I don't have, but I think there might be a lava lake somewhere over here. In the jungle. Do I have... Oh yes, we have a bucket of water. Now where is this lava pool? Oh, I see it! It's there. <gasps> a parrot! And I saw an ocelot! Ocelot! And the jungle's on fire. I actually turned fire tick off a while ago, but this must have happened before that. Anyway... I'm not sure yet how big we're going to make the portals, so we'll get extra obsidian just in case. Okay, I think 32 is definitely enough. Now, which way was home again? This way. Now I'm going to pop this away, it can go in here, for now. And next, because we're making a nether related house, I think we're going to have to go to the nether. I want more crimson wood for it, and also plants and vines and things to decorate. So we'll put our gold booties on, and a totem for protection, and I think we are ready. Hello ugly nether house. I was thinking maybe we could make this whole nether thing a multi-part project. Because this is really ugly, but also our nether is really confusing. I haven't made anything nice or logical. You can see this is my version of a bridge. It's just kind of bad and dangerous. And I keep forgetting where everything is. Like where is the crimson biome? Oh wait, found it. Oh, and we forgot to bring a warped mushroom for the hoglands. Okay, we need to be on guard. You. I hate these guys. Yuck. Oh, look, there's warped mushrooms. So if we put one of these down wherever we are, the hoglands won't come near us. Oh, I hear one. Hello. He doesn't seem very interested in us anyway. Anyway, I want some of these and, oh, some of the red mushrooms. And then, do I need shears for these? No. Okay. We're going to go for a slight crimson house theme, so these kinds of decorations are perfect. Actually, let's use this. And then we'll also just need a top up of the wood. Okay, that nether trip was successful and we have everything together that we'll need, so we're ready to build. We'll make everything out of a stone base like this. And we will get rid of the birch. Okay, this is kind of three sections of seven at the moment, but it is very flat. So instead we will go like this and remove this bit. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on, but the plan is for this bit to be the middle and the entrance and the portal. And we'll do steps leading up to it. Then we'll add logs to these end sections and make them go back by about seven. And we have a shape of some sort. Okay, next I think we'll work on the middle bit. So for the portal we want it to be here and we'll make it a kind of round shape and we'll try and hide the obsidian. 
I'm not gonna light it yet though, we'll leave that till the end because the sound is kind of annoying. But I think this will do it. And we'll also do a floor above. Okay, we've got a little progress update. The frame of the build is in. So I think now we just need to fill the walls with calcite and do the roof gradient, which is gonna be crimson wood and some other purple and red blocks. No surprises there. And this is our nether house so far. I made a little path up to it. So it starts at these villager houses and going up I added lighting for safety and these roses. Because we're going for a kind of red theme. We've got this red stuff here too. I'm not even sure what this is called but it fits a nether theme. We might need to add some more trees over here to stop it being bare and I was thinking of growing a mushroom down here. We have some pods that we can grab just over here. I was growing some giant spruce trees here earlier. And we don't have a silk touch shovel, so we're just gonna go like this. Okay, please be a good size and shape. Oh, <laughs> it's really short. Um, I'll keep it for now. Oh, actually, well, wait, maybe we'll try again. I think I want a taller one. Okay, little mushroom, I believe in you. Grow big. Ah, this is the same. It's identical, but I have an idea. What if we go like this? Oh, that's way better. And then we can get the stem. Perfect. Beautiful. And now for the inside of the build, the first thing I want to do is divide it up into a couple of floors. So we'll do a second story here. And that's done. And I'm really not sure what to decorate this house with. Also, I'm curious where this portal comes out. I don't know if it'll be the same spot as our other one. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. And what is the bet that we will come out in our old portal? And we did. I don't know if this is really a problem, though. Either way, I'm not smart enough to fix it. I guess we could just remove the portal, but I still kind of want it there. As for decorating this one, I have some armor stands. I feel like because we wear gold in the nether, we could line all of these with gold armor. It'll be as though we have heaps to choose from every time we're about to go into the nether. And then what else could we do? Maybe the sides could be like little nether gardens. Oh, hello. No, thank you. I'm good. And then put plants and mushrooms. And some of the vines. Okay, I added some more stuff, including this tree, which I think is fun. And now it really looks like a crimson biome, but I think that means the side is going to have to be a warped biome. And that could be tricky. I'm hoping that we have all of the warped blocks already, because I don't really know where the warped forest is. We have been there though, so maybe we can find it. Well, we have the Nylium, and we have the vines. Oh, this is promising. Oh, and the stem. Okay, we have everything. I did not need to worry. And now we've got this little split room with crimson on one side and warped on the other. But there's no way I have enough gold for all of this armor, so we're going to go through the nether to the mesa and get some gold. Okay, I think we are going this way, to our stronghold portal. Oh my gosh, I love this place. I wish we had more reasons to be here. But up to the mesa? And then I don't really know the best way to go about getting gold. Hey, Enderman. Wait, there's two more. What is this? Okay, what were we doing again? Oh yeah, gold. Uh, here's a cave. With no stone. And it ends here. Eventually, I found this big cave and cleared it out, although there wasn't as much gold as I would like. Hopefully with the gold we already have, we'll have enough. It was not enough, but it's kind of fine. We got enough for all of the tops and all the leggings. And we still have this top floor up here, but I don't know what to do with it, so we're gonna leave it for now. If you have ideas for it though, let me know. And now, like we said at the start of the episode, I wanna fill this gap over here with a custom mushroom. 
we're just going to kind of make it up on the spot and it's not going to be super big but we're just going to use mushroom stem and quartz for the stem. Then for the underneath part of the mushroom we're going to use terracotta. And for the top we have red mushroom blocks. Okay, I think that is cute. I like the glowberries. We added them on this mushroom too. And since building all of this and building the castle, we haven't actually updated our map. But also, I want to show you guys something weird I just discovered. This is a bug in my world that's occurred the last couple of days. It is a random chunk spawned in the middle of my zoo. I think it even spawned sheep with it. Yeah, you my dude, you were not here before. Ah, and there's more. Okay, there's sheep everywhere. But yeah, this chunk has cut into where this big jungle tree was and it's wrecked. I think this was a little bench. It's very weird, but kind of funny. And luckily there wasn't anything too important here. So I think I'll just fix the rest of this off camera in between episodes, but I thought it was kind of funny and weird. As for updating our map, what we did today should be here. Yes, it is. And then we have a castle over here. Or is this just going to be half the castle? Let's go load it in. Oh, it doesn't all fit on the map. It's in the bottom right corner. We only get kind of the front half there, but it still looks really cool. But I think that'll be it for today. I'm going to go work on the weird chunk, so I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!